Hello everyone. In this video, we will explain the process of e-invoicing. As you may already know, the government has made it mandatory for businesses with a turnover of rupees 5 crore or above to upload their e-invoices on the GST portal. This became applicable from August 1, 2023. So, let's first understand what is e-invoicing and then we will learn how you can upload your e-invoice on the GST portal. E-invoicing is a process where the suppliers uploads their B2B, export and registered party credit or debit note invoices to the GST portal, which is known as electronic invoicing or e-invoicing. With this, suppliers will have no issues while filing their GSTR1 return and their buyers will be able to avail ITC, that is, input tax credit immediately. As soon as the invoice is uploaded, the supplier will receive an acknowledgement from the government. The supplier will also get an IRN, that is, invoice reference number, and the buyer will receive an acknowledgement as well. The purpose of starting e-invoicing by the tax departments is to simplify the invoicing process so that to reduce reconciliation problems related to data and make it easier to file returns and help taxpayers easily get input tax credit. Now let's come and see its process. To upload your invoices to the e-invoice portal, you first need to register on the e-invoice portal. For this, go to e-invoice1 .gst.gov.in Then from registration, click on e-invoice enablement. Then enter your GSTIN and then enter the captcha which is shown here. Then click on go. So in this way, your details will be displayed here. Then here you will click on the I agree checkbox and click on send OTP. You will receive an OTP on your registered mobile number. Enter the received OTP and click on verify OTP. So in this way, your registration on the e-invoice portal will be completed. After that, go to the GST portal, then click on Login and enter your username and password and whatever the CAPTCHA will show, that CAPTCHA you will mention here and then click on Login. Then in this way, dashboard will open. Now click on API registration. Then from left side, click on Create API User. Then API registration window will open asking you wish to register your GSTIN for an API interface directly or through a GSP. So, we will select through GSP. Then select your GSP from drop down select GSP. And we would like to inform you that we have a collaboration with Pinnacle FinServe Advisors Private Limited. So, from GSP, you will select Pinnacle FinServe Advisors Private Limited. Then create your username and password as per your requirement. Then re-enter the password and click on Submit. Your account will be successfully created. Simply click on OK. So in this way, this completes the portal process. Now let's see the e-invoicing process in the software. In Mark software, you can upload your invoices to the e-invoice portal in single and bulk modes. Let's first see how you can upload a single invoice to the e-invoice portal. For this, go to GST and then GSTR settings. Here you will click on e-invoice settings and then click on edit. From here, set the e-invoice Y on F4 key, A for ask and N for no field to ask. This means that whenever you generate an invoice, the software will ask if you want to upload it to the e-invoice portal or not. Then is Y for HSN code, I for item wise and N for no. And it means that if you want to upload invoice or invoices HSN wise, set this field to Y. And if you want to upload item wise, set this field to I. So for now, we will set it to Y, that is HSN wise. Next is include nil or exempted items in e-invoice. Now suppose there are some bills that are taxable and some bills are exempted or nil rated. If you don't want to include nil rate bills, set this to no and if you want to include them, set it to yes. Next is upload nil or exempted bills as e-invoice. It means if whole bill is nil rated or exempted and if you want to upload as an invoice or not. So you will select yes or no options accordingly. 
Then from select your GSP field, select your GSP, which is Pinnacle FinServe, and then add free quantity to quantity. Make free quantity nil. It means if you want to add free quantity in the main quantity, so you will set it to yes. Otherwise, set it to no. And then here in the e invoice login credential, enter the username and password you created during API registration. And then click on save button. After that, now let's generate an e invoice. For this, from the GST menu to generate e invoice, by default, all pending invoices for the selected period B2B, credit note, export will be displayed with proper details such as GSTIN, tax type, invoice date, invoice number, bill amount, etc. Here, you can also apply filters to see pending, uploaded, cancelled, or all invoices. After that, you can select these three checkboxes that you want to view only B2B, export, credit note, or all invoices you want to view. After this, if you select all in the filter, if you maintain bills series wise, click on series to display the series here. You can also click PDF to export this to a PDF. It also shows the number of pending, cancelled, and filled invoices. As we select pending from the filter and select the invoice you want to upload and click on generate, the e invoice generation window will appear. And here, by clicking on more, you can view the transaction details. You can view seller and buyer details. And if you want, then by clicking on the edit icon, you can edit the details. Then you can view the dispatch details. And if you want to include the dispatch details, then click on the checkbox. Similarly, you can include or exclude shipment details also. Mark Software also provides the option to upload eWay bills along with e invoices. Here you will check the eWay bill checkbox. Then this will show the eWay transportation details window, which you will fill it as required. Here you need to fill current date, transporter ID, or vehicle number is mandatory. After entering the mandatory details, click on Save. After that, you will click on Upload e invoice to upload your selected e invoice and eWay bill to the e invoice portal. And you will get an alert message on the screen indicating that the e-invoice has been successfully uploaded along with the acknowledgement number and date. After that, let's see how to upload invoices in bulk to the e-invoice portal. For that, in the e-invoice summary window, check the boxes for the invoices you want to upload or select all invoices. And then, simply click on Generate. Then it will show the alert message. Do you wish to upload bulk invoices? You will click on Yes. And to check for any errors in the invoices being uploaded, click Check for Errors. The Error Status window will open. If there are errors in the invoices being uploaded, they will be displayed here. Otherwise, the window will be blank. Now to upload invoices on the e-invoice portal, click on Generate Bulk e-invoice button. So friends, by following the process shown in the video, you can easily upload your single and bulk invoices to the e invoice portal. Thanks for watching.